Hello gorgeous, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to test out a new to the market product from Danessa Myricks. This is her Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder for face and eyes. Crazy, isn't it? I saw this on Trend Mood on Instagram and Danessa Myricks is a makeup artist and I do enjoy her products, but just the concept of this product sounded so interesting to me. It can be used as a primer, it can be used as foundation, it can be used to set your existing foundation. It's got a hefty price tag, so the test today is going to see, number one, what is it like? Number two, is it worth it? This is what it looks like. It's got a little spatula inside that pops right out for you to use if you wanted to use it. And this is what the product looks like inside. The spatula is more for makeup artists. I'm not sure I'm gonna use that today. I am barefaced, except I put my brows on. I just used my current favorite, my Sephora brand uh, micro brow pencil. I did put a little bit of my Becca and Smashbox under eye brightener and a little bit of my Ulta matte eye primer. I wasn't even thinking to use this as an eye primer. This is just such a foreign concept to me. But what I'm so drawn about is if you are an oily skin gal such as I, maybe even mature skinned, this could be very much worth the money if it can be used as a primer, a foundation, and a powder. Let's get into it. From the research that I've done, it is recommended that you use your fingers. So I'm going to just put my finger in. It's got a almost an oily texture to it. It feels super lightweight. And if I didn't mention, it's got a product in it that is supposed to reduce the production of oil. So I use a primer every day. If this could take the place of my primer, foundation and powder, then the value for sure is there. I'm just sort of working up the coverage and hopefully it wasn't a mistake to have done my brows. I'm just trying to work around them. But there is one coat. I'm gonna go in on the other side and then we're just gonna see if we can build it up. Feels super duper lightweight. I'm going to focus on the areas that I feel need more coverage. I watched Morgan Turner, another creator here on YouTube, do a review on this and she liked it but she said please an oily skinned gal do this because I want to know how it works on oil so here you go Morgan Turner I'm doing this for you as well I'm gonna build it up just around my nose the skin looks good it looks very nice there is a luminosity it doesn't seem to be matte at this point I'm gonna give this a minute to set on the face I'm gonna throw a little bit of my Pat McGrath concealer on. Okay. It's looking good. Of course, if you're gonna use your hands for your foundation, make sure that your hands are clean. It still feels a little bit tacky. Throw a little bit of my Makeup by Mario. I'm gonna go very simple today. Love this Matte's palette. I'm going to start with this top right shade. little bit of this cream color on. I'm 
LA Girl Shockwave Black Sharpen Liner. Smudging that liner out a bit. Still feels a little tacky to the touch. I'm going to go in with my Huda Tantor. Love this. Just going to pat that with my foundation brush just to soften that edge. Believe Beauty Highlight. I'm going to go in with this center shade. Beautiful highlight. And for blush I have my LYS in Confident, which is a pretty pink shade. Since I'm not using powder, I'll go ahead and set my brows with my e.l.f. Brow Lift. Little Lottie London Super Fake Mascara. I am back, beautiful mascara for lip liner. I have my Morphe, this is the Makeup Talk lip liner. For lip color, I have the Danessa Myricks Color Fix. Thought it would be fitting to pull this out and this is in the shade Desert Rose. I gave that a minute to set and I'm going to throw her Color Fix Glaze on top of that. Glossy look. I will link Glam Girl Chelsea's video in the description box where she talks about this Upsolite product that is in this Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder. It's supposed to be this miracle product that I am super excited to see how it response to the skin. I will say that I do think that my skin looks gorgeous. I do really like the way that my skin looks. I think it looks super healthy and glowy without looking oily. It just, I was just talking about in my favorites video that went up on Monday, how much I'm loving the Wet n Wild Fight Dirty setting spray because I feel like it just makes my skin look so good. I feel like this is doing that. And it's killing me not to put setting spray on, but I'm not going to. It is noon right now. I will check back in at least eight hours and let you know how this foundation wore. I will take some footage on my phone in some natural daylight, but so far, so good. We will see if this $36 price tag is worth it. If it can act as a primer, foundation, and powder, Absolutely. If not, I will continue testing this product to find out what it does as a primer because I will say the skin looks pretty darn smooth. What it looks like to set foundation. It says it can do so many things, but to me the easiest thing would be for it to do all in one. So I hope that this was enjoyable. I just stuck to easy. I know work products on my face. This is the star of the show. Uh, I will check back with you in a little bit and give you my final thoughts. So here we are about one hour in. It's looking a little glowy but not oily. The skin looks good. I've rubbed my nose a couple times and we'll see how it holds up but so far I like it. It is 520 so it's been about four and a half hours. The skin still looks Good, I'll be back around eight. It is 8.02 in the evening. I am back 
my first wear test and it was hard. I wanted to blot, I wanted to <laughs> wipe, but I did not. I have had an active day. I've had a child jumping on me. I cooked lunch and dinner. I, I broke a sweat assembling a shoe rack. So I have put this foundation to the test. This foundation primer powder blurring balm whatever you want to call it but I am looking at my face and of course in the light it looks extra glowy I would say well I could have at least fixed my lips before I came on huh there I feel a little better I put some of my Sephora plumping lip gloss on so yes face is shiny let me take a closer look to see if the foundation broke apart. It really, it looks very good. I would like to see what this looks like if I blot my face with a tissue. That looks pretty darn good smooth, even. I also brought in one of my favorite powders if I were going out for the evening, didn't want to replace my makeup. This is the Bare Focus powder from Wet n Wild. I brought in one of my puffs and just the lightest dusting feels good. I think this foundation from Danessa Myricks gets two thumbs up from me. I'm gonna continue playing with it. I would like to try it with a setting spray, but I absolutely think it is a beautiful product. After eight hours, just to have to blot it a little, I think that's not too shabby. Dry skin, normal skin, this could be everything for you. Oily skin, we may have to blot. I mean, my skin does not look cakey or makeup-y. It is a very natural, lightweight foundation that gave me the coverage that I needed. Bottom line, I love it so far. Stay tuned, of course, I will update you throughout the month or if anything in my May favorites and fails. Make sure if you've not subscribed that you subscribe before you leave. I thank you for joining me for my first wear test. Let me know what you think. If you'd like to see more of these, I will see you in my next video. Have a great day.